Hello, and welcome back to the third episode of my Python tutorials. Uh, this episode, we're going to talk about making it loop, so it can do the calculations more than once. Do this by using a thing called a function. Uh, and this is how you set up a function. You uh, write def, def for define, so it's defining the function. It's basically asking what you want to call the function. Uh, we're going to call this y. I'll explain that later. You then do open bracket, close bracket, uh, because you can use this for swapping variables in and out of the function. But again, well, that's a bit more complicated. Um, so we've defined the function. This basically says says that everything indented or tabbed out after here is what's inside our function. Just tap, go along, tab out everything. Don't need that one. Don't think it really matters. Um, but if we run this now, oh, just don't need to indent that one. If we run this now, it's not going to do anything because it's basically just saying this is a function, but it's not actually doing it. And how you actually call up the function is you just do the name of the function followed by open and close bracket but it has to be not indented so that it knows that that's not part of the function so now it just does what it was last time and that's okay but there's not really much point in it uh, it's not very useful but if we go here and we put um, we get uh, uh, hmm. again equals the input and it's going to say again yes or no y or n and if again equals yes then we're going to call up that um, like that uh, else uh, else if no nope, that's different else if uh, again equals no we're just going to write by and uh, I'll change the else thing later but because that uses a diff different type of loop but for now we're just gonna write the oh my god of course you need to print getting distracted okay print by okay <coughs> So, if we run this now, it will not do anything again, um, because we have to, this is still defining it, so we have to call it up once before we, oops, before we do our loop. So now, it's going to say that, do our multiplication, and it's going to say yes or no, press Y, and, oh, yeah, you need these in speech marks because um, they're not a value they're an actual a string so if we go on to multiplication uh, yes or no it loops it so you can do it again this time you want addition first number da, da, da. do you want it again nope bye <coughs> so that's how function works um, it's more useful when you come to doing things like games uh, text based games things like that um, but f now we want to deal with this else because if they do spell it wrong, do you put something in wrong, we want them to be able to go back to here. So if we define a function, um, here, so if we define, um, <coughs> Define spell. Sp 
spelling. Define spelling um, here. Um, so now we're inside this. We're gonna call just just so that it can read it straight away um, instead of only if we spell it wrong. Um, which obviously we wouldn't get the chance if it wasn't in there. Um, let's just write. Um, so else if they spell it wrong, print you spelt something wrong. Um, and then we can call spelling. So if we do this, what have we done wrong? Oh, yeah, you can't, I, I, I got confused because, yeah, because I'm an idiot. Um, you have to write it, it's like uh, you have to write it after it's all been done, defined and everything. Make sure it's in the right level of indent in line with that. That should be, that should be awesome. Uh, hopefully, spell something wrong. Oh uh, no, <laughs> that is actually. Uh, yeah, you spelled something wrong. So that way, using functions, you can just do things like this with spelling and just keep going. Um, next episode, probably gonna go into something a bit more complex maybe look at making a text-based game in this I'm not really sure maybe uh, we'll see uh, so see you next time if you could like and subscribe that would really help out and uh, yeah see you next time bye